I'm going to teach you guys how to be a cashier, or at least the basics of being a cashier. So first of all, customer is always number one. So you want to start with greeting the customer. Hi, how are you doing today? Did you find everything okay? Some customers will not reply to you. Blank face. Some will be friendly and talk back to you soon. You can keep the conversation going. And then, for depending on your store, I know our store requires us to sell, or not sell, but to get customers to get a TJX reward credit card. So you have to say, you can either say uh, any variation of, Hi, do you have... Um, do you have our TJX Reward credit card? T it's called TJX Rewards credit card. Some people like to say you um you do would you like to save 10 I think it's 10% off today by applying for a TJX Reward credit card and depending on say yes or no then if they say yes, then you have them fill out um, the bottom portion of a form that's inside the the front of the um, it's like the clear um, paper holders. Find an application there, and then you when you're done um, scanning their things, you're gonna push CV uh, not CVC um, suspend. You're gonna suspend the transaction, and then. Yeah, make sure that they have, they have their ID. Okay, I'm going to make a separate video on that. But okay. Um, and then the next step is that you want to take off the hanger first. You want to do each thing one by one. So you're going to take off the, like if it's a clothes, you take off the hanger and you, I wish I can have an example, but take off the hanger and then you have the clothes and you have to make sure um, you kind of what I do is I like to leave it on top of the um, the there's gonna be like a, a checker to see if it has any of the sensors. I like to do that. Um, I like to take off the hanger like near the top of the of the sensor so that way I can know easily like make sure that I don't miss anything. And then after you take off the hanger, you wanna um, so if it does have a sensor, usually sensors are for those that are. 19 if I remember correctly 1999 and above so you want to check uh, uh, take out the sensor by placing the little pin head part um, the other side of the pin head part inside the it'll be in there, there'll be a machine where you have to like kind of force it in kind of like you, you kind of have to do like a little scoop and to take it out and then after you take off the sensor you fold it some people will be picky about having it nicely folded so i basically just ever since that lady because i used to just kind of like quickly wrap it up and just throw it in the bag not throw it in the bag but just kind of like it kind of a little bit careless but some people i guess really appreciate it if you fold it nicely because they don't want the clothes to be all wrinkled when they get home which i I'm okay with but I, I'm completely like why if you're supposed to wash it before you use the clothes because there's just a lot of bad bad stuff that um, goes with you know you want to prevent catching any diseases or anything before you um well, it's a different story but anyways um so yeah pull the clothes and then put it into the bag and then you're gonna did I say scan it? Okay, you scan it and then you put it in the bag. And then you got the next item, whatever it is. Um, if it's a bag, you have to make sure that you check to see that um, there's nothing inside the bags. Um, and you have little pockets. So if there's, um, so like if it's, especially like those big Gucci bags, those, um, I don't really know many, many bags, Gucci Polo, uh, okay, I don't know. One of those big designer bags, you definitely want to make sure that there's nothing inside those bags. Um, what I do is I just, just tell them, like, oh, you know, just making sure that there's nothing inside. Because, you know, like, some people or some kids, like, put things inside the bags, just messing around. So I just have to make sure that there's nothing inside there. Because sometimes um, stuff will be in there. Some people will try to steal stuff. Or some people just, like, I don't know. I know when I was a kid, I used to just, like, play around like oh yeah I get a bag and you just put stuff in there you kind of just forget that 
or you just leave it behind. I don't know, but it, it happens. Do so you want to check to make sure that none of the bags have it? It also, um, you can also ask them, like, oh, would you like me to take out all this paper? Because a lot of the bags will have, like, a bunch of paper that isn't, that they don't really need at all. It's, um, it's just fluff. But sometimes people do want to keep it, so that's why you want to ask, like, oh, do you want this paper? And then if they say yes or no, you, you know, you take it out. You There's two bins on the bottom of your, well, I don't know if your work, but in Marshall's where I work out, there's two bins at the bottom uh, where you're supposed to, your station you're supposed to be working at. Uh, one bin is for paper and the other bin is for for trash. So this, um, the paper one is just meant for like receipts and that, those type of documentations. But the other one is meant for... <laughs> More like this type of paper, which is trash. Oh, okay. um, baby hangers. They don't usually. I, I've been told that they just throw away. Um, unlike the other ones, that they actually recycle them. So, um, if a customer asks for a lot of them, we can actually give those away. But if it's what she told me was, if it's like one or two, they can keep them. Like if there's not that many, they can keep their the. Um, I don't know. The management is really confusing. They tell you different things, so you might just have to be careful. <laughs> Uh, just be more certain because it happened to me with the film part. Another story, different, different story. Okay, anyway, so um, you want to make sure that you take it. Sometimes even from the coats, you want to make sure, kind of like, I guess like tap into the pockets, make sure it doesn't have anything. For so that's for bags, for sweaters, um, for articles. There are um, not articles for items that are uh, fragile, like you have mugs, cups. Um, like so if for example I was selling something like this or if I was selling um, this mostly it's empty mugs but for mugs in these type of articles there's gonna be like a long drawer and you just pull it out and this goes 